Hi, I'm Jeff Delorier, uh, associate at Cushman Wakefield, uh, here to talk about uh, Q2 uh, 2023 on the industrial side. Uh, currently, vacancy is at 3.7%, so a little bit higher than the previous quarter, uh, mainly due to uh, new construction uh, that have been completed, but uh, slightly uh, over margin. Uh, most of that construction was already accounted for uh, with uh, tenant in tow already. So, um, Moving forward, uh, we do have about over 4.8 million square feet under construction, which we would expect vacancy to increase in uh, the next quarter or by the end of uh, Q4, Q1 of 2024. Uh, with that said, um, trend in terms of lease rate, uh, similar to the last quarter, we see a slight increase uh, again, uh, in, the, in those lease rates, mainly due to the low vacancy that we're experiencing and also uh, due to the cost of construction. In terms of uh, transaction that happened uh, this quarter, um, one was uh, 50,000 square feet on nine acres uh, that uh, one of our associates completed uh, in Atchison there, uh, which pretty interesting given that the vacancy is at 0.5%. That's probably the strongest market in and around Edmonton. Um, also in Atchison, we saw the, the transaction of the pet food facility to uh, Mars uh, that transacted also this quarter, which was um, at above uh, $1,100 a square foot, uh, which is very interesting, but pretty significant transaction in our market in a very strong sum market. We're seeing about over 4.8 million square foot on under construction similar to the MTE logistic warehouse and the Amazon facility. Most of that vac uh, construction is already accounted for. Um, and that's why we are still seeing low vacancy rate compared to what we are historically uh, seeing. Historical, we're at 5.2, 5.5, let's say. Um, and now we're at 3.7. So we're still way below what the normal market would be. Um, and even with 4.8 million that is gonna come online in Q4 of 2023 or even Q1 of 2024, most of that vacancy is already accounted for. So it's not going to make a big jump in that vacancy rate. However, there is some space that will be coming vacant. Uh, so it should um, add to our vacancy and hopefully with an increase in vacancy, then you will we will see those lease rates uh, stabilized or somewhat plateau. Um, that said, if we're looking at other markets like Montreal, Vancouver, and Toronto, where three, four years ago, their lease rates were probably a third of what they are now. We're looking at Alberta's market three, four, five years ago, what early lease rate were compared to where they are now. We're probably the market in Canada nationally that has not increased as much as the other markets. So, I would expect that the lease rate will keep climbing up for our market to stabilize to that national level, but we are still in a very strong low vacancy um, product uh, across the board. And um, yeah, we'll see that over the next quarter.